to Joey as a party. He brings the big show in. They form a good line racing. And uh, Sugar Kane had dwelt at the start, missed it by a good couple of lengths. First to get going, King of Chaos and also Mr. Albie. But he's going to ease and Recharge is going to push up with the Big Show. And so it will be Recharge that leads them at the completion of 200 from the Big Show. King of Chaos, three deep, now having to work up to sit outside of Recharger. King Blitz got trapped a little deep there. He's in no man's land as they go off the back straight on the far corner, going around Mr. Albie. A length away, Quest of Venus, followed by Sordello triple event further back sing it one more time and sugar cane and last of all is our mate charlie as they'd start to string out at the 700 to the side of the track and it's recharger responsible for the clip leads the way by a length king of chaos having to work up their second a length and a half to the big show down on the inside king blitz again goes forward three deep there he's covered some territory further back is mr Ralby. triple event a length and a half to quest of venus sordello down on the inside under heavy pressure sing it one more time well back sugar Kane, our mate Charlie last into the home straight, recharges the leader about two in front of King of Chaos and King Blitz who wobbled out there he's starting to run on at the 250 recharge of King Blitz look at King Blitz though cutting him down he's been off the track all the way, very promising galloper in the making, King Blitz he's pulling right away from them and another very impressive win goes on to record a hat-trick, Edwards having a look around to the left and the right, gee that was a rather arrogant victory, King Blitz beat recharge of the big show, Quest of Venus Fought out miners a long way back. Mr. Albi followed then by Sordello, our mate Charlie. Triple event, it got gassed. King of Chaos capitulated badly. Back with Sugar Cane and sing it one more time. King Blitz, it's a Blitz Krieg. Three in a line there. He sat off the course and he was pretty deep on the home bend, but he has put them away. He does ooze a bit of the X-Factor, King Blitz. He's now won three out of his four career starts. And it would appear as though Barry Newman has got a very nice one on his hands. He has obliterated them. Recharger jumped quickly, led them, and got left in the wake of King Blitz. The big show third in from Quest of Venus. And uh, those that were on speed there, they were really struggling this is the one that's done all of the work under the 58 and a half and just put them to the sword king blitz is by natural blitz out of lyrical queen for barry newnham mrs d and also tj king written once again by peter edwards building up some relationship with king blitz 25140 recharger by fly peg from dr bella cliff green emma stemp the big show weighs in third by frost giant from ferocity Darren McAuliffe, Joe, as a party. Winning margin, three lengths and cantering home. Two lengths, second and third, 125.70, the sectional, the split 36.69. Well, the Crown Perth handicap is at 4.45 today. It's a field of 14, no alterations there. Let's get straight down to the yard and catch up with part owner and trainer Barry Newnham down there with the Gareth Hall as well after yet another um, great performance by this very, very promising, uh, lightly raced five-year-old. Yes, thanks, Mac. And Barry joins us now here on Sky Thoroughbred Central. And, oh, there you go. He just surprised me, King Bliss. But he's some horse, isn't he, Bat? He's, uh, he's real fun. He's real fun. I remember having a chat to you a couple of weeks ago when he got the job done and you thought, well, there's a little bit of improvement in him, but he just keeps on stepping up to the plate. And he was never on the track. And that was arrogant, as Mac had pointed out in the call. Yeah, I, I said to Petty, she was worried about, about it. I said, listen, the only time you'll get beat is when you worry. I said, don't worry. I said, if it's five deep, don't worry. Just don't move. And she rides him well. She, she knows him well. Where do we go with him now? Is he ready to come here on a Saturday? Oh, well, maybe, yeah. But, I mean, I waited this long. I, I, I'm thinking, you know, do I give him six or eight weeks and then come back and then do what we think he might do, you know? What do you think he can do? I think he'd be a very, very handy horse over 2,400 metres. That's what I think. So that's Perth Cup. Well, who knows? We can dream, can't we, Baz? Who, know? who knows? Who I, knows? I remember you told... I know Peter's got to get going, but I remember you telling me the other day. I don't know if we can tell people, but I think you told us here on Sky Thoroughbred Central, you might have another one better back at home. I can assure you. I, I can assure you I'm as excited with her and it's never raced as I am with him. Yeah, what's her it's name? Beautiful horse. Um, I don't think I've named it. 
Um, I have named it. What is it? Might be special harmony or something. I'm not sure. No, but it's it's by Trade Fair out of her mother. Yeah. Yep. We'll keep an eye on her. When will we see her? Ah, oh, six or eight weeks or something. All right, mate. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. There's Barry Newman, and that was a, a good performance by his horse, King Blitz and Peter Edwards. She's having a lot of fun with this galloper. Is she ever, Peter? Tell us. This must be your favourite horse at the moment. Oh, by far he is. He's, he just gives me everything he's trying. Like I didn't get that easier at the start. Um, it took a while just to get across and I was preferably wanted to get a bit of cover but I couldn't so we just had to make play with what we had and he just gave it to me. I gave him a roar at the corner and he, he's like, oh, I'm going, I'm going. So it was a good little win. What was going through your head? Barrier 9 was always going to be a little bit tricky for you. When you were posted a bit deep, what were you thinking? Oh... Uh, I had to trust of the horse that I got underneath me and as well as Barry, he gave me a bit of confidence, um, giving, my, giving me the instructions. I was a bit nervous today, it was the first time in ages that I have been nervous and just looking at the barrier and stuff, I thought I, I had that knot in my belly but yeah, he's, you know, like I said before, you've got to, just got to trust the horse that's underneath you and he's given it to me all at the moment. So, Given it to you in spades as well, you had to look over your left shoulder, was it just to see how far you'd won by? Yeah, I, I, could, I heard them roaring and I thought they were a lot closer than what they were, but yeah, when, I was, when they just said he'd won by three, I was thinking I, I felt a bit bad that I gave him one over the bum. <laughs> well, go back and watch the replay because he was streaming away. Congratulations. Thanks, Brett. Thank you. Yeah, well done to Peter Edwards and I love the instructions there from Barry, Brett. Um, don't worry if you're five wide, he'll get the job done. That's exactly what King Blitz did. And I love the confidence there too by Barry. Why not put him out for a break and bring him back and try and get him into a Perth Cup? Uh, you know, the, the saying of ridden like the best horse in the race, that was very much the case. Yep, and sometimes those are the best rides out of trouble and King Blitz just did the rest. We'll take a quick break here on Sky Thoroughbred Central. As we go to that break, we'll watch King Blitz. Blitz his rivals once again at Belmont Park. We might see him on a Saturday pretty shortly.